Okay, boys. So we spoke briefly about our TAMP function. There's our basic shape. I guess a, a few of the key features that apply for all trig functions um, is each of them has a period. Page is with our TAN graph, the general formula for the period, okay, is pi on n as opposed to 2 pi on n. The range, you notice, is r, as our graph goes up and down uh, infinitely. Again, there are rules for the asymptotes, uh, sorry, for the, yeah, for the asymptotes and the intercepts, but I think it's a little bit easier just to sketch the first cycle and then uh, determine what the other um, asymptotes or intercepts are. So, for example, let's get ourselves our basic shape here. Now, a couple of things we know about this particular graph, what have we got? So it's reflected. Okay, about the x-axis, uh, the amplitude, the three just is a dilation factor, isn't it? So it doesn't affect an amplitude because there isn't one for the tan graph. Period, however, is given by pi on n, which in this case is pi on two. So that's how long it takes to uh, repeat our our cycle. So if we sketch our basic shape. I know that that's zero. Instead of going in a positive tan function way because it's a negative graph and it's been reflected, we're going to go this way. So we know that that's zero, and I know the distance between asymptotes is pi on two. So if I divide that in half, that means that that asymptote is at pi on four. This one is at negative pi on four. All right. And so then all we're really doing then is just repeating that process. So let's just extend our axes of fraction. So if I do my next asymptote, it's pi on four plus the period, which is pi on two. So that's three pi on four. And the one back is again, pi on two units back, which is negative three pi on four. Put my intercept in, up and down. That one is zero, it goes the period later, which is pi on two, so that's a pi on two. And from zero, back pi on two, so minus pi on two. So I think the key really, let's just sketch that first cycle and then just repeat my intercepts and asymptotes, whatever the period is. Okay, the same basic process. Um, the two is a dilation factor. It doesn't affect an amplitude. We don't have one. Number in front of the X is one. So period is equal to pi on one, which is just equal to pi. And obviously we shifted pi on three units left or right. So in this case, it's right. So again, let's do a little quick sketch of the basic shape. Um, the period is pi, so the difference, to split that in two, so that's pi on two minus pi on two, and we have the positive tan graph, and it goes like that, yeah? So now what we want to do is shift the whole thing pi on three units to the right. So let's, since we're moving pi on three, let's relabel these. Uh, so we've got pi on 3 and pi on 2. So pi on 6 is a common factor, isn't it? So let's make that 3 pi on 6 and that positive 3 pi on 6. And our movement is 2 pi on 6 units to the right. All right? Which means now, let's come in here. Probably don't need the stuff to the left because our domain is from pi on 6. to 13 pi on 6. So let's just sketch a graph. So that asymptote there is at negative 3 pi on 6 plus 2 pi on 6. So that's at minus pi on 6. 0 plus 2 pi on 6. I'll make it 2 pi on 6. 
and 3 pi on 6 plus pi on 6 is 5 pi on 6. So 2 pi on 6 is 5 pi on 6. So that's what our graph looks like. All right. So then the rest of the graph, we just continue the cycle. So I need to add pi, which is 6 on 6. So I'm going to turn that into 11 pi on 6. And I've got up, down. The period is pi. So 2 pi on 6 plus 6 pi on 6 is 8 pi on 6. And does it make sense? Well, from 5 to 8 is 3. From 8 to 11 is 3. So we have symmetry, so that's good. Um, let's come down for the next part. And 8 plus 6 is 14 pi on 6 is that value there. Okay. Now we stop at 13 pi on 6. So let's get my eraser, which means maybe I only go as far as that. And I start at um, pi on 6. So that's 2 pi on 6. So maybe that's pi on 6 about there. So these sections go, okay, and that point there is at the point pi on 6 something. That point there is at the point 13 pi on 6 something. Yeah. So to work out that something, let's substitute pi on 6 into our equation. So I get 2 tan of, well, let's make them all into 6s. We'll work out. So 2 pi on 6 um, is pi minus 2 pi on 6, which is equal to 2 tan of negative pi on 6. So tan is negative in that quadrant, which equals negative 2 times tan pi on 6, which is negative 2 times, we'll go for root 3 on 3. Okay, so the coordinate then is negative 2 root 3 on 3, negative 2 root 3 on 3. Okay, so again, the key starts with sketching your basic shape. Didn't worry about any formulas. Just sketch it, get my initial asymptotes, and then move everything left and right. All right. In terms of solving my tan graphs, it's exactly the same as solving any trig function, get everything to the right hand side, which is root three on three. Root three on three is the same as one on root three. Where is tan positive? Well, tan is positive there and there. And tan inverse of root three on three is equal to pi on six. So you must know your exact values. So let's start at zero, because we're starting at zero. So I've got 2x, 2x in the bracket, okay, is equal to start at zero, pi on six, that's a three pi, whoops, sorry, we'll make it six pi on six plus one, seven pi on six. So now just add two pi to each one. So one plus 12 on six, 13 pi on 6, 7 plus 12 is 19 pi on 6. Number 2 there, so twice around the circle will be enough. Divide by 2, pi on 12, 7 pi on 12, 13 pi on 12, and 19 pi on 12. All right, off you go.